There he is, September's NFL Offensive Rookie of the Month, Jaden Daniels. Number five came out on the field about 30 minutes ago. His team in search of their fourth straight win in what can only be deemed a surprising start to the year 2024. Listen, the first chapter of the season is in the books, and so far it's been a very good read. Welcome to week five in the National Football League. Kickoff just about an hour and a half away. Chick Hernandez here from Landover, Maryland. WSA 9, the official television station of your Washington Commanders. And once again, on a beautiful Sunday morning, I am joined back in our DC studios by the one, the only, Wisdom Martin, and a man who once in his five years with the Burgundy and Gold started out four and one, former Washington quarterback, Sean Springs. Gentlemen, uh, this team has been the talk of the nation the last two weeks. It, it, Chick, uh, good morning to you, Chick. It has been amazing, all the hype and the, mm -hmm. the conversations. I'm talking about Jaden Daniels' top-selling jersey so far this season because of everything that's going on. This is amazing. Uh, it is truly <laughs> surprising. <laughs> but, right. but that's what you expect when you draft a guy like Jaden Daniels, right. who's a game-changer. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad he's here in Washington with us, and yeah. we're going to continue to say, Hey, keep riding, young keep, man. Keep, keep riding. Keep, keep doing it, young keep, man. He came over to basketball. Fast break offense. <laughs> <laughs> right, I like that. Your fast break I like offense. that. Yeah, passing it around like Magic Johnson yeah, back like, in like the day. Magic, See, there I like you go. That. All right, um, all right, Sean. We talked about this on yep. paper. You know, a home game. Yep. Cleveland's appears to be in chaos. Yep. We're riding high. Everybody loves the Commanders. Everybody loves Super Five. Is this? I'm going to call it a trap game. You say it's not a trap game mm -hmm. because of the way Cleveland plays. But is this one of those games where you look past and say, okay, I'm ready to go to the next one because this was a W? No, you don't look past Cleveland because at the end of the day, Cleveland has some very, very, very good football players. Now, obviously, Deshaun Watson has been struggling at the quarterback position, but when you think about their talent, Miles mm -hmm. Garrett is the name that sticks out. Yeah. Danzel Wall, who probably is the, probably one of the best corners in the NFL. Right. He's there. You talk about the way they've been able to run the ball, even though they haven't scored a lot of points. And then the offense hasn't been great. But they got great players. Mm -hmm. Judy at receiver. So you could easily find yourself looking ahead as a fan towards Baltimore. Right. But as a player, you're like, man, they got some guys that can really play right. some football. Man. Right. So, so I, I'm, yeah. I'm just going to stay focused. Right. Stay focused one week at a time. One that's week at a time. That's what the pros one do. One week at a time. All right. Uh, let's send things back out to Chick. He's at Northwest Stadium. And Chick, we don't want to look past this game because this is, this is, it, it could get tricky. Yeah, it, look, there are no trap games in the National yeah. Football League when, when it comes down to it. Sean knows that. There's no trap games. Guys prepare. Coaching staffs prepare. They're not looking at what the Browns have done in the past. It's not a big deal. It's about being in the moment. And that's what Dan Quinn has preached throughout the training camp and throughout these first couple of weeks of the season. Uh, the last time the Commanders were home three weeks ago, by the way, uh, well, they were in search of their first win. They have now reeled off three straight wins. And head coach Dan Quinn, He's looking to turn Northwest Stadium into the toughest place to play. We all recognize this has been a crown jewel of the NFL and what that fan base was like playing here. You ask any of the old heads, this was as hard as it was to come and play a ball game mm -hmm. uh, against this team and this fan base. And so they're a big part of it, you know, to create that home field advantage. And so we want to make sure every time we play, we're representing them. And they always see us tough and fast and playing physical and attacking. And uh, that's, that's it. This is what it should be. You can watch my weekly conversations, the exclusive chats with the head coach anytime streaming on WUSA 9 Plus. As I send it back to Wiz and Sean in the studio, look, it's not a trap game, but it's two straight wins, three straight wins. You got to be level headed as you come into this game on your home turf. I'm wearing the pink. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I got my Men Against Breast Cancer, Men Supporting Women with Cancer uh, logo here. It'll be pink in the stadium. It's a prime day to show the nation once again what you're made of. Keys to the game is sponsored by your Washington area Toyota dealers. All right, it is time for the keys to the game. And Sean, as we look ahead to, to this afternoon's game against the Browns, you yep. have three keys that will get the commanders to victory. And the first one, uh, here's, the, here's the thing. Last week, I know we beat Arizona, but yep. last week, James <clears throat> Conner, 104 yards, rushing yes. 5.8 per carry in total. Cardinals had 181 yards and 5.7 per carry. Yes. So you're saying we need to stop them on the ground. Well, when you look at the Washington commanders, you're going to say, well, the defense, we might have success against them if we can run the ball. Mm -hmm. So 
every team is looking at how we're going to get a victory. Cleveland is looking at we can run the ball. We're, we've known Nick Chubb is not in there, but we've been known to run the ball. We got to we can run on Washington. And what I'm saying is no. We got to make people know that they can't come in here and run the ball and have success. Right. That's the first thing you have to do is stop the run. Right. And the one on one matchups are, are key as well. <clears throat> they, they are, you know, because Cleveland arguably has guys at their position, probably the best in the league. Denzel Ward later mm -hmm. in the show, we'll talk about my key matchup to the game with Denzel Ward, who had a chance to play against Terry every day for three to four years wow. at Ohio State. Uh -huh. So he's going to match up with Terry today right. and he's going to feel comfortable. And Terry's been hot and they're going to try to bring a guy to stop him. So that's a matchup that I want to see. But there's other matchups that we have to win today. And you right. have to beat this team by winning your one-on-one matchups. Right. All right. And the final one is, you know, we jumped out early against the Bengals. We jumped out early against the Cardinals. Yeah. We mm -hmm. got to keep that, that, that trend going. We do. We have to start fast. And when you think about the Cleveland Browns, they're one and three, but they're, they're a very prideful team. When a team is down, they're yeah. going to play hard their very, very, very first half. Mm -hmm. And we have to say, you know what? We're at home. We're the commanders. We got talent. We are the real deal. We're, 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 we're the team to beat in the NFC. Right. So guess what? We're going to start fast, and we're going to jump on top of you, and hopefully we kill some of them around. Right, right. All right. That's a, that's a good good call right there. Yeah. Get out ahead and make them try to dig out of the yeah. hole. All right, we had, let's get out to Chick right now so we can talk about more about our, our superstar quarterback and all things commanders out at the stadium. All right, boys, another mile marker for Jaden Daniels. Uh, the, the rookie has looked nothing like a rookie in the National Football League, especially in his first month. Three wins, several honors, including Offensive Rookie of the Month. And check this out, by the way. Remember Jaden Daniels' touchdown pass to Terry McLaurin against the Cardinals? That ball is now in the Pro Football Hall of Fame because of the records he broke with his completion percentage. It's been a busy week of everyone praising the young quarterback. It will not affect him. Man, y'all can say whatever y'all want. Uh, I'm still a rookie in my eyes, so uh, I let everybody else do the talking for me. I don't get caught up in that stuff. But... Um, Man, it's just, it's a blessing. That first game, we didn't play as well, and he showed up the same time and worked just as hard as he has um, on the, the games that, that we've had success. So that's who he is. He wants to be great. For any of us that have been around a good leader, um, you saw him the same all the time. You know, they weren't up and down and, you know, trying to be somebody they weren't. I think that's the easiest person to see through to say like he's not that around somebody else and so for him uh, if you came in here on a Monday or a Thursday or the next week you'd see the same high character person putting in the work doing the things necessary